Hey everyone, how you doing today? I thought I'd show you a preview on this Katana HAV, um, and that's Heavy Assault Vessel. So I think, uh, that's the name I got picked out right now. I think I might keep it, unless you guys got a better suggestion. But uh, I think I have this uh, complete now. Um, I've uh, been working all morning on it again, uh, putting in all the info LCDs and adjusting CPU. I did a number of things since the last time I showed the ship um, in comments it was uh, uh, suggested that maybe I have some bigger uh, turret mounts in places uh, for artillery turrets uh, so I uh, kind of modified the amount that was here to uh, do that so that's uh, one new feature you can run artillery turrets on at least two of them um, I fixed up the core rooms and things like that in it I'll uh, do a whole walkthrough on the interior here in a second uh, just thought I'd show you the rest of the outside. I think everything is rigged up now. All lights are on sensors. It has O2. It has Wi-Fi. Uh, I put in a Pentaxa tank that I forgot to do. Uh, that was another, uh, kind of critical, uh, problem there. Uh, easy to fix, but critical <laughs> issue. Uh, so, uh, yeah, just kind of cruising around the ship. Uh, you can board the ship over here. Uh, so here, let me adjust the lighting and I'll walk through everything. Now, right now I've got this thing kind of stripped down pretty big time. Uh, with uh, stuff <laughs> See if the lighting's all right. Yeah, I think the lighting's gonna be all right here. So um, You obviously have uh, locations to add uh, a whole bunch of uh, shield parts all the shield parts basically so uh, four large uh, eight I'm sorry four large eight small and six medium shield parts So I do have info LCDs. There is a P menu option to turn those on and off. So in the loading room here, that's uh, that's kind of how that's going. So over here, uh, this is gets you to the warp drive. I decided to install just an advanced warp drive right off the gates in here rather than the uh, the 30 light year one. It's got the 60 light year warp drive. I definitely like that better. I didn't rig up these blast doors here, which are also not airtight to um, uh, any controls or anything like that. I figured if you're going to go up here, the only reason you're going up here is to... I don't know, look at the warp drive, I guess. So, I uh, uh, figure you can probably manually open those doors. Um, so, that is this floor, pretty much. Um, now, on uh, I did uh, reinforce the ship some more. Uh, the, the crafting area uh, is uh, set up a little bit better. Um, so, right now, I don't have any of the constructors in place either, but you have a location to add uh, two uh, constructors or deconstructors. I don't know what you would exactly put a deconstructor on here for, but... Uh, the Pentaxa tank ended up right below the uh, advanced shield, and it does have an advanced shield stock. Um, and then you got your fusion reactor room over here, um, so you can either put in a couple small fusion reactors or one big fusion reactor, depending on how you want to do it. So I think, uh, as in the looks in this room, it kind of sucks, but well, hopefully you're not spending much time in there getting uh, radiated. <laughs> All right, so going up a floor. Now, one last thing I did kind of want to do before I get this to the workshop is I, I really wouldn't mind putting in some uh, elevator LCDs. I have not done that yet. Um, right now, the, the floors are just kind of marked off. You don't know what floor is what. So, like, production's on the lower floor. So, back over here, um, I kind of worked out this area some more, especially with the core rooms. Um, so, this core room over here is completely dedicated for additional cores beyond core 9. Um, so you got places for four quantum cores and four auxiliary cores. And I did reinforce the sidewalls and the, the ceiling and everything else in here too. So hopefully it's a fairly safe place to put those expensive parts. Kind of out of the way too. There's no like real guns too close. Um, things like that. Uh, the other side has all the core 9 cores in it right now. Now, it doesn't actually need to be Core 9, at least the way I got it configured right now. Um, it's actually below that on CPU. Um, so, moving on, let's go to the uh, the secure bridge. Oh, yeah, this is another area. I wanted to uh, tweak out the, uh, I don't know, the thing for the secure bridge. Put something there that looks neater than this. I did add utility function throughout the ship, too. So, it's got like O2 and med bay in here. Uh, also in the first person bridge, also in the dedicated medical bay area. Um, so coming in here, this is the medium shield part area. And that is about that's everything that's going on in here. Now it has three Wi-Fi's in it. One's at the, towards the front of the ship, 
Uh, one's in the middle and one's in the rear of the ship. So kind of a three-point Wi-Fi set up there. So that is the secure bridge area. This should be really quite secure too. Um, hopefully. So next floor, floor three, uh, kind of works like the other floors. Uh, this one's, uh, yeah, it got a little bit of fluff. It's, it's, it's not much going on in here. I didn't want to go like overboard with um, things and stuff, but uh, it does have some beds, uh, a couch, uh, some tables. Over here, you got uh, your medical uh, equipment or your specialized stuff. Then you've got your uh, another O2 and uh, med bay there. Then you got your sh uh, shower and toilet over here. There's a little back room off over here in case you wanted to add some more fuel tanks or something. Um, you got that. Going, around, going over to this side here, you've got your uh, armor uh, repair, armor locker, and weapon locker, and a fridge. Uh, just some more utility stuff there. It does have an ATM down in the production area. I uh, forgot to call that out there. Uh, a couple uh, boxes over here, and uh, you got your gravity generator, and uh, this is like the midship Wi-Fi, I believe, in this area. No, this is the rear Wi-Fi. My, my bad. All right, and then beyond that, it uh, you can go up to the, uh, the landing pad, or you can go up to the bridge, or the first-person bridge. And that is pretty plain Jane right now, too. Again, I might add some more little doodads in here before I get it to the workshop, but I wanted to get it to kind of a finished state right now. Um, other things, uh, like all the, uh, the uh, storage is all labeled and set up and stuff like that, too. Um, okay, so now right now I do have a Core 9 set up in here, but it doesn't need all that CPU. In fact, it can easily, it's uh, 589,000 CPU out of 840 for Core 9. Shield, stock shield, without any of the additional shield parts, is 41,515. Now, I did add a couple more sentry guns to it. Uh, it does have a drone defense option here. Um, so that'll get out all the sentry guns. Uh, let's just look at the, uh, the numbers here. So I did increase the sentry gun count by two more. So it's up to 22. Um, it does have the decoy laser cannon. And I swapped that out for... Uh, there was, I had a larger part in there. This one's smaller. I was in comments to uh, use this as a decoy instead of the other part, which takes up more space. Um, still has that light cannon turret, which is uh, a decoy as well. And I just uh, swapped on a detector on it right now. So, But it does have room for the uh, either a long-range radar or the big um, radar array. You can put that on the backside of this as well. 10-hour uh, and 32-minute build time. Requires a whole lot of Xeno, <laughs> uh, 21,000, uh, some Xeno. Still needs more iron and carbon over the Xeno, but uh, Xeno, I think, is its third biggest uh, stat there. Um, now, obviously, I've got the Core 9 uh, set up in here. Superconductors. I'm trying to figure out some of this. Now, the plasma converters. Uh, one other thing I did do as a CPU thing is I uh, removed... Uh, some strafing thrusters up here, but then I upgraded the ones below it to the plasma variants instead of the ion So basically the ship has three strafing thrusters um, One uh, well two stock you can add a just a, another complete thruster This one's just a uh, ion thruster and the one in the back is a plasma thruster uh, so Motion and spec wise again without the guns on here or your, your main weaponry um, it's doing 61 forward, 46 strafing, 26 lift, uh, 61 reverse, 27 down. It will slow down when you add a bunch of heavy weapons on it. Um, gosh, I'm trying to think. I did rig this door up too, so uh, you can uh, just kind of fly in here. There's a sensor there and a light that will light that up. Uh, I'm trying to remember if I'm forgetting anything here. Well, I get kind of nervous when I get this far in the ship. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Now, one thing I haven't looked at yet is the interior uh, defenses. I guess you could say all the uh, the armor and stuff like that. Uh, it was uh, brought up in comments that maybe I should use some uh, heavy glass um, as it's uh, not so bad for weight versus its hit points. And that is something I'm considering. I just haven't uh, got around to looking at that yet. And I'm a little scared too because I gotta would have to kind of rip things apart and try to put some heavy glass in there. The only side effect of heavy glass, and it won't really make a difference on this build, is it would um, 
increase the size class a little bit over the blocks that I'm using, but uh, it's not really much of a uh, issue whatsoever, especially this is only a size class 7 ship, so it's actually a little bit less size class than I thought it was going to end up being. Um, you know, quite frankly, I don't think I rigged this door, or maybe it is rigged. Yeah, it'll open up automatically. Okay, never mind. So you got that top uh, door into the uh, secure bridge as well. Now, one weird thing, I didn't really know what to do with this, so there's a couple more doors in it, and it goes nowhere. It goes to this room. I don't know. If you want to put something in here, you can, I guess. You can get rid of that, too. It's um, the actual elevator is, like, behind over here, and I didn't want this part of it. And then I was like, well, do I fill that in, or do I put doors there? Uh, <laughs> you got some weird little wonky storage space for something. I don't know. I just figured I'd, I'd put that in there. Um but that is, that is pretty much the ship right now. Now, today, I did want to test it. However, I don't think I'm going to have time. Uh, so I think I, tomorrow I'm going to do a video um, and have two different outfitted versions of the ship. One uh, kind of low end, probably uh, trying to put on whatever I can at Core 9. Um, and the other one uh, uh, more decked out with um, late game stuff. Uh, fusion reactors and and uh the big weapons and all and all the fun stuff now right now i gotta figure out how much with the cpu on how it's sitting uh up to core nine i got uh you know i don't know over two hundred thousand. that's not a huge amount but that's kind of what you'd be at uh stock um and then you'd have to figure out you know weaponry versus shield parts and things like that now obviously if you if you bring it up to high cpu levels uh with all the quantum and auxiliary cores you should be able to i think deck out pretty much everything on it uh, including all the shield parts and stuff like that but um uh at core nine no you're gonna have to be kind of limited on what you're picking and choosing for for weaponry on it um and things like that obviously when i uh test this i'm gonna probably test this with uh, a lot of tier or the heavy uh plasma uh launchers and things like that um and uh whatever turrets it does have uh i believe 27 turret mount positions on the ship and of course you do have the 22 sentry guns as well for 320k ammo bays and it doesn't have uh, uh storage beyond ammo bays is really there's some boxes uh so you got three cargo boxes and two uh, cargo boxes down in the production area so not a whole lot beyond the four uh ammo controllers I didn't split them up into harvest or anything like that because you just it's not a harvesting ship. It's just not going to really be doing that. I want you to be able to really fill it up for ammo for long, nasty battles. <laughs> and that's kind of what it was all built for. So, um, yeah, with, uh, I think I showed this on the last video too. It does have decoys. you got a small generator there, a decoy turret. Uh, this, uh, this decoy piece here, I really ought to paint those other blocks there. Um, another decoy generator which i ought to move a little bit i'm now thinking that's awfully close to this thruster and i really don't want to attract fire towards that thruster it does have kind of a couple decoy thrusters in here as well right in these locations here um yeah i kind of wonder if i shouldn't drop those down too all this last minute stuff you can really uh uh it just takes a while to kind of go through it all and you get kind of nervous uh Fair amount of work into this ship. Um, it might not seem like it. the interior is not as pretty as I'd like it to be, or and it's kind of cramped for the most part. But um, it's just the way it's built and things like that. It's it just got so much armor and things and xeno blocks that I'm trying to bury and hide in some places. I can't do that in all places though. Uh, but that is that that is pretty much the uh, the ship um, on how it runs stock at least or well not even stock um honestly on this one here i could uh reduce this cost by getting rid of uh, a couple of cpu cores probably two superior cpu cores and it's still uh still can work now in comments too it was uh discussed about uh putting cpu core blocks where these advanced generators are and there's uh, some valid points there basically if you put in the fusion reactors you're not going to need these um it's kind of a waste of uh time if you uh, have the fusion reactors the the thing is that i wanted to be able to put this ship out in a cheaper easier to get in version and i can't be running fusion reactors uh stock 
then. Um, however, just looking at the uh, material cost, I believe it's a little bit too expensive here right now. And I think I need to paint. I need to do a little bit more painting in here too. I might remove the uh, superior cores in this version too. Where's the other superior core? Oh, right there. Um, and put up some info LCDs in here as well. So it doesn't really need those in here. No, it kind of does, doesn't it? 584, 589. Ugh. Ugh. That's probably because I swapped out the uh, warp drive to the uh, the better version. Because I didn't feel like upgrading it. Well, anyway. Um, it's really close to Core 7. <laughs> And it could be if I uh, if it didn't have the uh, the warp drive that I put in there. I figured I could get away with that. Now I'm kind of wondering if there's anything else I could remove. I I think it's going to need the two generators it does have, but I'm not 100% sure on that. If it didn't, that would be a, a, a big-time uh, CPU uh, savings as well. But uh, other than that, yeah, you can fully upgrade it with all known cores. Uh, this room up in this area, again, I kind of wanted to leave it open. Let's say you did uh, pick up crew members, uh, functional crew members in the uh, in the game. This would be a great place for them. It's uh, fairly, you know, it's not super protected, but it's way back in the ship. It's kind of underneath the uh, first person bridge, and there's a lot of space in here. Now, I didn't really try to plan out where you'd put those people in their desks, but uh, I think you could definitely fit them in here pretty easily. That's kind of why I didn't want to really deck out this area too much with too much uh, clutter. I'm not even sure if I should put in the couch and the tables over here. But um, anyway, um, yeah, just wanted to uh, show you where it's at. Now, what I'm probably going to do uh, shortly, I'm going to check on another author. Uh, uh, I believe is willing to uh, do some combat trials on this. So I, I may send this uh, version of the ship to them and see... Uh, what kind of problems they have. Other than that, I do plan on doing a uh, uh, some combat tests with it tomorrow in a kind of mock-up survival game where I can have a couple versions of the ship and see how they uh, perform. See if there's uh, even uh, one of those tests, I kind of want to just turn off the shield completely and just take all the abuse and see what happens. Uh, see if the, the ship holds up the way I hope it does. <laughs> but, you know, there could be problems. And obviously, if I ended up uh, redoing a lot of that, too, I might look into some heavy glass um, in areas for, you know, just stuff for the AI to shoot at. But uh, as of right now, I think it's, yeah, it's about as far as I can get it without uh, combat testing and a, a couple little knickknacks of things to fix up in there. Uh, maybe a, a little bit more detail on the interior and stuff before I get it to the workshop. Um, so probably I'll get it to the workshop definitely this weekend. At this point, I could probably do it sooner, but I wanted to... Uh, try it out a little bit first before I did that and then it's nice to have a little bit of extra time too to uh fuggle around with the ship and try to enhance things or make things look better or whatnot and again a couple other things I want to do like uh make a first or uh, the uh, secure bridge LCD for the heck of it and try to make that look a little bit nicer and stuff too but um uh I think it is in a functional stat uh uh setup finally a um, lot of tweaking and modifying and figuring things out and worried about this, that, the other thing the whole time. Kind of on pins and needles with this this build here. But uh, we'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, uh, the only other ship that's, uh, besides the original Nemesis Battlecruiser, the only other combat like dedicated ship I really did in a long time, that was human at least, <laughs> is uh, this uh, Tribuse HAC. Um, and this one, I remember this was, uh, again, trying to be a pretty a high end, well, a decent end combat CV. But the thing is, is I, I, I went like this other ship could have had all this fun stuff in it too. Um, but like where the warp drive is and how this whole thing is laid out, I tried to make it prettier. Uh, the thing is it has so much less armor, no decoys. Um, and the other ship is it, entirely stronger than this one um on the on the whole front and everything about it is stronger but uh, i was just kind of like walking through here looking at the, the layout of this one this one was kind of like the other one but this one had a big old hangar and a farm and all that stuff on it too so the new ship although almost the same size well if not bigger 
it doesn't actually have a hangar or a farm or any of that stuff and a fairly cramped interior so it tells you how much armor is on this thing um i hope it's fast enough and things like that if it's not quite fast enough the best thing i could think of would be upgrading thrusters another notch um that could get kind of pricey because you'd have to take these to anim animator version of, of thrusters and if you did those you'd also want to do the reverse thrusters here but i'm hoping it's fast enough right now at um where it's at i'm just yeah at core well getting rid of those superior cores i'm just curious how much cheaper it actually is yeah it's still gonna need uh 36 plasma uh converters but yeah uh those superior cores are really pricey actually at uh those other parts that got thrown in there are no longer needed so i was worried about that i was wondering what was taking up a lot of that stuff but uh like uh heat shielding and whatever but uh it seems to be or it wasn't even that it was superconductors that's it so, which i actually aren't very hard to get in game either but um anyway there you go that's the ship it's uh it's about ready tomorrow i'll have a video on testing it and uh then i'll know information on uh any modifications i need to make to it uh before i get it to the workshop and also submitted for the challenge this month too which i uh, i'm obviously running late uh but <laughs> wanted to get it there as well i just don't want to put this version there quite yet because it could have some problems that i don't know about yet other than that y'all have yourself a great day and i'll talk to you later